Let's play Wabash Cannonball. I'm going to play it in the key of C, so you'll need your C chord, F chord, and the G7 chord. That's it. So make sure you're familiar with all three of those before we get started. Our chord pattern uh, actually has two different patterns to consider. One is what I call the circle pattern and that we're always moving just the way I just did from the C chord to the F chord to the G7 chord and back to the C. Each line has a count of eight beats. We'll start that first line on C. It'll go a bit like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, switch, seven, eight. So I get to that F by the end of the first line. Second line, I switch from that F right to G7. One, two, three, four, five, six, switch, seven, eight, back to C. So it's a little bit uneven, right? Each chord doesn't have the same amount of beats. It's always a little different. The melody and the lyrics will help you with that too. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that if you want to take it line by line, you can think of each line as having what I call a leading pattern. So once again, we're starting on that C chord and we're playing that C chord almost the entire line until we get to the end of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, switch, seven, eight, right? So that C chord is leading us to the F chord across that line. Likewise with line two, we're on G7. One, two, three, four, five, six, lead back to C for seven and eight. So two patterns at work, whatever works for you to kind of keep track of them as you go is just fine. I'm gonna play a standard strum pattern. You're welcome to strum, to strum those beats, just single strums if you like, but if you wanna strum with me, it'll sound like this. I'll play through the pattern again. One and ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, switch, seven, eight, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, switch, seven, eight, switch, one, pattern continues throughout the entire song, verses and choruses. So take a moment, get yourself oriented, get ready to decide what you're going to do uh, for strumming and all of those things. Um, and when you're ready, we'll take a deep breath. <sighs> all right, here we go. Starting on your C chord, we'll play through, uh, through the pattern first, and then we'll dive into the chorus. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go. Listen to the jingle, to the rumble and the roar as you fly.
conductor's squall as she rumbles through the jungle the wabash cannonball verse two now the eastern states are dandy so the western people say from new york to st louis chicago There you go. Feel free to come back and use this video anytime you need to practice any part of it. The chords, the strumming, the singing. You're welcome anytime. Enjoy.